Postacoglu, he gave credit to Newcastle, but Rio, what, what could they have done differently? Cut out individual mistakes. I think, yeah, I agree with the manager. Probably wasn't at the races for most of the game, especially in the first half. Um, but it, it boils down to individual mistakes at times. Uh, with Kieran, Kieran Trippier, Trippier and he's, he's tried there, walking though. past <laughs> all crew um, there. <laughs> but, but yeah, you got in these games, p mistakes get punished. You, the higher level you play against, the better players you play against, you make individual errors, you do get punished at this level. And I thought today, especially in that first half, that was there for all to see. We spoke a lot about Mickey van der Ven and how brilliant he's been all season. He had a terrible day today. What, what can he do to, to recover from that? You've obviously had games in your careers where everything just has gone against you. Mm. Why directing that one at me, Lynn? <laughs> <you. laughs> um, no, listen, he's had a, he's had a nightmare today. There's, there's no getting away from it. Sometimes he's been at, we were talking before the game. He's been unbelievable this season. You know, he's been a um, a huge signing for Spurs. But unfortunately today, I mean, the first one maybe was footwear. You know, I just didn't feel like it, you know, it was a slip. The second one, um, he's just he just goes too fast and he can't get back. He, he can't shift his weight. And I think for the for Isaac's second goal. I just think he, he he puts the brakes on a little bit, and he because he does he, he thinks he, I think he could possibly get there. He could, if he if he jumps at the at the ball to try and block it, I think he could block that. But he was so scared about Isaac cutting him back inside that he did he, he put the brakes on a little bit. I better ask on, you Rio as well because Peter will get paranoid. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I think on form, I think if you're talking about the top five centre backs this season in the Premier League, he'd be in the conversation, uh, just on based on form and rightly so. But there's going to be a time in the season where it, it doesn't all go to plan for you. It's now how you react. Act. We've it's, all been there yeah. where we have, we've had a moment where you haven't performed. I've had it in my career where you have a game and you think, oh, where does that come from? I, I've been really bad today. Your pride, your ego, it's embarrassing. Mm. But he's got some massive fixtures coming up all, against all the top three coming up soon. There's no better place for him to put himself back up among the players that are the most informed centre-backs in the league mm. with performances against those big teams because that's where you're going to be judged. He has to deal with this. this is, the manager said that. He'll have many more bad performances in his career. But it's the reaction now. Do not let that be a hangover and affect your next performances. Yeah. Do you know the issue, Rhi, is, well, it, it, the two weeks to the next game, that's the worst thing. Yeah. You know, when you had a bad game, you just, you'd just play tomorrow if you could. You know, you play now. You just, you just want to get the next one out of the way and, and, and what, do it. What he needs to do, really, on the way home is 10 minutes out of getting into his house, order a Chinese, get his feet up, put the PlayStation on, Xbox, whatever he's got, play a bit of FIFA and just get the confidence back going. Seriously, just got to simplify it. That, don't overthink it. Is that it. what you did after a bad day? Yeah, don't overthink it. We had a few beers as well, but they don't do that now, so it's yeah. different. But this is where we find out about, about his mentality Minerals. after this game. Absolutely a bad day for Mickey van der Ven. Let's get some more Spurs reaction now. James Madison is with Jules. James, it must be a dejected dressing room in there. What went wrong for you guys today? Yeah, just really bad day. Um, we, could, we obviously conceded the first goal, and then when you concede the second so quickly after at a place like this, um, we, from the kickoff we sloppily went back to the keeper, knowing that they're going to press because they do that here. They score and then they try they build momentum on it and they go and press really aggressively. And we still ended up going back to the goalkeeper and being pinned in, and, and then you find yourself two 0 down, and it's give yourself a mountain to climb. Yeah. I spoke to your manager and he said it just felt like you could never quite get to grips with the game today as a team. It's Tottenham's toughest defeat of the season, biggest defeat of the season, I should say. Why do you think that was? Why couldn't you get a grip of it? Well, I felt at nil-nil out there. Like there was, there, was, there was some chances for us. There were spaces to play. We just weren't brave enough, I don't think, today with the ball. Uh, too many safe passes, too many easy options, not enough not enough courage to try and maybe play a, a riskier pass and then it's all a bit safe, which I think cost us a nil-nil because it, it felt like when I was out there there was chances to play through and create chances. And then, like I said, when, when we concede one and concede two so quickly, it's it's just sloppy, sloppy little details that, that cost us and then struggled from there. People are talking about individual errors as well defensively today. As teammates, how do you rally around a player when there are moments like that in a game? Yeah, it's one of them. You've got to get the balance right of, of if someone makes a mistake. You know, as a player, if you make an individual error that costs a goal, that you, you're the one to hold your hand up. doesn't mean that you can't demand more of your teammates, but also yeah, just to try and pick them up, I guess. But we, we struggled today to bounce back from any... This season, I think we've been good at uh, bouncing back when we've conceded, but today, today that wasn't the case. And when Newcastle score here, you can really feel and hear the crowd. Does that make it even more difficult for you? Well, you just know they're going to 
come straight or full steam ahead from the, from the kickoff, which is why it's so frustrating that we went back to the goalkeeper. Because um, we know that's going to happen. It's been mentioned that we try and go forward from the kickoff, but especially here, just a bit of just a bit of nous of even if you just clip it over the fullback, get yourself up the pitch like we did a couple of times from the initial kickoff. But because if you end up back and you've got the likes of Barnes, Gordon, Isaac, who are who are fast lads chasing and pressing with the adrenaline of just scoring, you find yourself with the ball at the keeper, and then we struggled and we conceded straight away. So um, yeah, frustrating. Appreciate your time, James. No problem. Thank you. Cheers, sir. James Madison saying there wasn't enough courage for it from the Spurs players today. He also talked about bouncing back, but they've got Arsenal in a, a North London derby in their next game. Then Chelsea and Liverpool, they've still got the game with Man City as well to be rearranged. That is some set of fixtures on the horizon for them, isn't it? Yeah, but we always say this. I think it's, it's, you want to play straight away and also against big teams as well. So you want to go have, take games that are going to draw the best out of you and the big games normally do that it will refocus them immediately a London derby but the two weeks gap as, as Crouchy said that's a bit of a, a, a blow for them I'm sure how do you see their top four chances now if because fourth might be all we're going to get in the Champions League unless we can see comebacks from Arsenal from West Ham against those German sides yeah I think the issue is when you see those fixtures you know they've got to play the, the top three and that, that the top three are all going for the title you know they're relentless at the moment that's uh, you know three games it's gonna be hugely difficult for them and you know Aston Villa will be looking at that and thinking you know could potentially stay in there I think you know you can't rely on a fifth place finish for Champions League so it, it's gonna be difficult for Tottenham and, and neither of you two are backing Arsenal to, to get through, are you, in, in those second legs of the quarterfinals in the Champions League? I just think it's advantage Bayern. I think Arsenal can get through. I think they've got definitely got the players to do that. They showed enough in the first game that they, they could hurt them. But playing against a, an experienced team like Bayern in this, in this competition, I think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big ask, but it's one that I don't think is too far for Arsenal. What makes you think PSG can turn it around as well against Barca? I just don't think Mbappe's going to play as bad as he did in the first game. He didn't get into it, didn't he? I, don't think, I think he had two shots, none on target. That's not the normal killing Mbappe that we know. So if he just jumps it up a, a few percent, I think he changes the game. He's Let, that good. Let's have a look at your predictions then, Peter. You're, you're going for Barca, not PSG. Yeah, the, that's the only change, really. I think City get through. I think uh, I think Bayern um, will, will, will have too much for for Arsenal. I just think Paris are they, they're flat to deceive. I think they um, they half and half. And listen, they've got one of the best players in the world, but their Barca kept him really quiet in the in the first leg. And I think um, back at the new Camp, I think they'll they'll do the job. And a very quick one on, on Liverpool as well. A shock result for them at home to Atalanta. What a shame. What, what chance do you give them? Yeah, it was a shame, wasn't it, to see that happen. Um, I, I just don't think that they're going to be able to go through now. If this, what we said before, if this tie was at Anfield, the second second leg, I would be very, very um, silly to go against them with what their history has been like in Europe because that place mm -hmm. is, a, is a cauldron. But 3-0 and then having to go away to Atlanta, I think it's an uphill task. That. Oh, yeah, I, I thought the issue was just the, the performance. I thought Atalanta were, the, were much the better side. I think the, the chances-wise, they could have had more. It was a real off day for Liverpool. Um, obviously, you think, the, would, what would they do? I mean, will they rest players or, you know, and accept their medicine or do they go that's for the it? Thing, and play you go all in on the league and just go second string. What, what would you do? Well, that's the issue. I've heard people talking about it recently, just saying, you know, let, 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 let's ride it off uh, and, and, and go all in for the league. But I don't think Jurgen Klopp will do that. I don't think Liverpool will do that. And if, if, if any club can turn a deficit like that round, we've seen it before in Europe, haven't we? Well, they will Liverpool. still believe. Well, that's almost all we've got time for. Before we go from St James's Park, let me tell you about some more live sport today on TNT Sports. The MotoGP is up and running right now, over on two, while on three you'll find the first of Rugby's Champions Cup quarterfinals as Bordeaux host Harlequins, and that's followed by a repeat of last season's final. It's Leinster against La Rochelle. More football from five as Aldershot and Boreham Wood meet in the National League. And then at 11 o'clock, we have a blockbuster of a fight card as UFC 300 hits Vegas. Well, that's it from us. Our next Premier League game is Arsenal against Chelsea on Tuesday, the 23rd of April. We're looking forward to that one. Peter Rio, thank you very much for your company today. A brilliant 4-0 victory for Newcastle today at St James's Park. And I definitely will not be saying how I'm going to celebrate this one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>